All right, guys. So let's talk about squared and cubed unit conversion. So yesterday in class and in the video, we converted things from uh, millimeters to centimeters. And so if we had 20 millimeters, we need to go to centimeters. We would multiply that by centimeters over millimeters because the millimeters would cancel each other out. So there was one centimeter for every 10 millimeters. So that ends up being 20 divided by 10. So there's two centimeters in 20 millimeters. So now today we're talking about, well, what if we start using uh, centimeters or kilometers or millimeters squared? So when we talk about squared, we're talking about area. So I have some sort of square or two-dimensional object that has some dimensions that when I multiply them together, they both have the unit of centimeters. So when I multiply them together, I get centimeters times centimeters. So the same way that if I had x times x, I'll get x squared. Okay, so that's that's the, the conceptual beginning of what we're going to do here. So we're multiplying centimeters to centimeters. That's why we have centimeters squared. So at that point, if we already have the area, we can we would just need to do this conversion. So the other way to do it is that if you already know that it's centimeters, you can convert these to meters, each of them to meters in the way that we did yesterday, and then multiply them and you'll get meters squared. But that involves two um, conversions rather than just one. So let us start working out some examples. So if I have 220 centimeters <coughs> squared and I need to go to meters squared. So let's think about it just from the unit perspective. I have centimeters times centimeters. So if I multiplied it by meters over centimeters, that would cancel out one of the centimeters, but I still have another one. I also don't have meters squared yet. So if I multiply it by another meters over centimeters, this other centimeters cancels with this one, and then when I multiply these meters together, I get meters squared. So that is the gist of what we are doing conceptually. So if I have 220 and I do 1 meter is 100 centimeters for both of these. I'll write this one on this side. There's more room. So this is the same process as what we did yesterday. So then this becomes 1 times 1 times 220 gives me a numerator of 220 divided by 100 times 100. So that's a really big number. Easy way for me to know what that is is 1 and how many zeros there are 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 10,000. So 220 divided by 10,000 is going to give me a decimal number. So when you're going from centimeters to meters, that's an amount of centimeters is going to be a small amount of meters because centimeters are way smaller. So 220 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.022 meters squared. So let's do this other squared one. So in that case, we're going from a small unit. This was a small unit to a bigger, going from small to big. In this one, we're going from big to small. Okay, so let's look at this. So 9 kilometers squared. So if I multiply by a meters over kilometers, 
then I need to multiply again by a meters and a kilometers. So one kilometer is a thousand meters. So this will be a thousand. So when I put this all together, I have nine times a thousand times a thousand divided by one, so I don't even need to really write that. So I can easily get that. It's a nine, six zeros. So this would be nine million meters squared. Okay, so conceptually, if we have if we had a one kilometer by one kilometer. This is one km by one km, and I needed to convert those. So if I multiply them together, I just get one km squared for the area. But if I convert each of these to meters, it's a thousand. So then a thousand times a thousand makes it so that this same one kilometer squared is one million meters squared. And there are nine of these one km squared or squares. The square just means an area. Okay. So let's do these over here if they're cubed. So when we have cubed, we're talking about volume. Because we're three dimensional, we go from area being two dimensional like that to having three dimensions. So there would be a measurement that is millimeters for like the width, millimeters, and then the height is millimeters. So a box, like a little cube could be a cube, it could be a cuboid. So we could convert each of these ones to centimeters first. But it's easier if you're already given it to do, you could do three conversions or you could do one. So <clears throat> 124 millimeters cubed. So that's millimeters times millimeters times millimeters. So three times, that's what this little three means. So that means that I have to multiply by millimeters, millimeters, times millimeters. Put a double M here. Millimeters, 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 millimeters. So millimeters is in our denominator because each one of these is going to cancel with one of the ones that's in our current measurement. And we want to go to centimeters. So these should all be centimeters, 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 because three times centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeters cubed. So now it's one centimeter. That's the bigger one. I talked about that yesterday in class. The bigger unit of the two is the one that's going to be one, because then the smaller unit will fit into it by a certain amount. So there are how many millimeters in a centimeter? There are 10. Every centimeter is 10 millimeters. So each one of these is a 10. So then my final answer, the 1 times 1 times 1 is still just 1 times 124 is still 124 in my numerator. 124 divided by 10 times 10 times 10 which 10 times 10 is 100, times another 10 is 1,000. So really this is saying 124 divided by 1,000. So when we do that in our calculator, we get 0 0.124. You can go put that right there in our 
So 0 0.124 centimeters cubed. Another way to think about that is that if I'm dividing by a number, so I know a factor of 10, remember a metric system uses factors of 10, so these three zeros is going to move my decimal from right here over this way three times. So it's still fine to use the calculator, but think about it that way. So here, let's see our last one quickly. Then we can wrap this up. So we have meters. So again, same kind of pattern. We went from small to big. So from millimeters to centimeters, we're, we're going up. It's a bigger unit. And now we're going from small or from big to small. So 1.5 meters cubed. So that's going to be, I need to have centimeters in the numerator and meters in the denominator. So meters is bigger. So one meter is 100 centimeters. And I do that until I canceled out. So right now I've only canceled out two of the meters. And I only have centimeters squared, so I need to multiply by one more 100 centimeters over one meter. So then all three of these meters cancel out with this meters cubed. And then I have 1.5 times 100 times 100 times 100. So how many zeros are there? There's six, so that's 1.5 times a million. So that gives me 1,500,000. And these are cm times cm times cm, which gives me cm cubed. One point one comma five hundred thousand. So one million five hundred thousand centimeters. So the takeaway from this is that whatever number you see, so if I have anything with centimeters. Anything with a square, anything with a squared, then that means I'm going to have to have centimeters in the denominator twice. And whatever unit I want to go to in the numerator twice. So if we were going to meter square, that would be meters and meters. So when I multiply these out before then I would get meters squared over centimeters squared. And so centimeters squared times meters squared divided by centimeters squared. These can cancel each other out. And I'm just left with my meter squared, which is what I want. Okay, so however, whatever the exponent is, the little number would be, this one's 2, so I multiply this times two of the same thing that we did yesterday. So if it was cubed, then I would have to multiply it by millimeters over, let's say we're going to centimeters cubed. So this would be centimeters, centimeters over millimeters, centimeters over millimeters. So that the three will cancel out with this one. Okay, so this exponent is what tells me how many times I need to multiply by the same thing we multiplied yesterday. Okay, so hopefully this video helped. Thanks for watching.